In a recent interview with The Guardian, Billie Eilish says that the pressure to always try to look good is such a loss of joy and freedom. It's kind of weird to hear her say that because Billie pictured here, she's Generation Z's biggest pop star. She's got the current record of the number one hit in the world. She's making a whole lot of money and, and her, her gist is that I'm popular, I'm relatable, but I'm also who I am and you can see that all the time. But she laments in this interview the real struggles she has on social media. That stress, that success always brings more stress. That the pressure to be on, the pressure to sell, the pressure to be real and relatable, it's a pressure she breaks under. It hurts her Tourette's, it highlights her weaknesses, it makes her want to retreat. I think all of us, if we had to have an empire like that, if we had to feel the need to do all these interviews and all this posting and all this fakeness, who of us could stand up under the stress? Here is the great irony. That, that what she is selling is that you can be just like me and you can make money just like me. And yet in a real moment, she admits, it's too much. I, I sell that I'm happier than ever, but I'm really not. Psalm 4, offer right sacrifices and trust in the Lord. Billy is a canary in a coal mine, that if you offer sacrifices to social media, if you chase social media pleasure and gold and likes and follows, you're never going to have enough sacrifices. You're never going to have enough time. You're never going to have enough images. You're never going to be able to drew the baggy sweatshirts because eventually they're going to want to see something else. They're going to pressure you for more, more, more. If you offer sacrifices to the God of this age, it is always unsatisfied. However, as a Christian, you come and offer right sacrifices. You, you say, Lord, I, I confess my sins. I, I admit my weakness. I'm troubled in heart. I'm distressed in spirit. If I offer those sacrifices of praise and prayer and petition, and I trust in the Lord, well, read the rest of the Psalm 4 tonight, today, whatever. You see the comfort God brings. Billy has done everything she can to succeed in this world, and yet, even with all the money, she's still not happy. Christians don't have to chase that. We don't have to sacrifice to the God of this age. It really doesn't care because it always wants more insatiable hunger. Not to the God of this world, never enough. But to the God of our hearts, to the God, God who has redeemed us, who saved us, who made us his, his own, we offer right sacrifices of our weakness and we trust in him to provide and protect us always.